Hello, I'm the Cicada, and today I'll be teaching you how to build this house right here. And sure, it's not the biggest or the craziest, but I think there's an underappreciation for small houses like this. Not every building you do has to be a gigantic modern mansion. Get that out of your head. And don't pay attention to any of my other builds, they're not important. So this build doesn't require too much. Just some strip logs, a sort of stone block, I'm using deep slate tiles here. Uh, some other wood block, preferably less dark than these logs. A darker stone block and a lighter block for the roof. In this case, I'm using deep slate here and mud bricks. You'll need some stained glass, preferably two types. Then you'll need the wood stairs and the wood slabs. So first off, let's start with the strip logs. Here I'm using dark oak because I like the nice dark texture it gives. We're going to put one here, one, two, three blocks in the middle, and another one right here. This is your doorway. Then we're going to go back one, two, three blocks this way. And diagonally, we're going to place one right here. Again, this is basically going to make an L, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Then from here, 1, 2, 3, another. And from here, 1, 2, 3, another. So you should have this sort of shape right now. Ooh, I can even see my name tag in the shadow. That's crazy. Now from here, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks in the middle and place it here on the 6. So there should be 5 blocks in between. Now let's go back to this block. And we'll go back to the same place here, except we're going to go 1 block out this way. So again, another sort of L shape. This block will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here to line up with that block. And if you're wondering why I'm mostly doing odd numbers here, it's because one block windows centered in the middle look much better than two block windows. Just trust me on that one. I know it's supposed to be subjective, but my subjectivity is more right than yours. So anyways, from here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, and put one there. 1, 2, 3, put one there. And you'll see it's sort of starting to mirror the front. And you'll find... If you make an L shape from these, one, two, three, four, boom. And then one, two, three, four, boom. You will find you have just made uh, basically a zigzag. An S, a lightning bolt. There we go. So now, instead of leaving these like just cut logs on the ground, we can extend them all up to four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four, like this. Two, three, fours. Get into the rhythm of that. Just feel it nice and easy. And now with your stone block, here I'm using deep slate bricks. We're going to go one, two, three in between this. Don't worry about the rest of that. Then just connect the bottom of all of these blocks in between all the pillars. And these sort of situations where they're not lined up with each other, go for this one on the left. Bup, 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 and perfect. So now we have this line of blocks around the outside here. So because this is going to be a doorway and we can't have a door with a block in the way, We'll delete this and place it on the ground. And you can do it on the other side too. And if anyone's wondering, because I know people are going to ask, uh, if you're wondering why I get these shadows and stuff, this is a shader pack. I use Silder's Enhanced Default because it looks pretty normal, but with just better lighting. If you did know that, I mean, good for you, I guess. Congratulations. Alright, so now that we've got all this down, we're going to pull it up with spruce. Uh, door frame, you can just kind of go down like this. Leave a three block gap here. But for pretty much every other wall, we're going to do this. Just bring it all the way up to the levels of the logs. I'm using an auto-clicker here. Uh, I think auto-clicking is generally justified when you're building. But if you're playing a PvP game and you're auto-clicking, you are filth. I'm telling you that now. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything I say. I'm not one to do that. If you auto-click while pvp in, you are filth. Alright, so now we got a sort of box like this. Kind of boring. Well, let's start punching out some window holes. So here on the sides, I'm putting out one here one here perfect on this other side here i'm gonna put one and another one like this but what about this one i hear you say well this one we're actually going to build this wall up a little bit higher but one layer up here and one layer up here and this is because the actual roof is going to be taller on this side you can do this on the other side of the house here too one up here and one in the middle here making a slight slope and now i bet you're sitting here wondering well this two block window seems way too short i mean the simple answer is just make it three blocks tall. You can make it some funny shapes like this. Like, uh, that's probably bad, isn't it? I think there ain't nothing wrong with a nice little three block tall window here. Either way, it's time to start doing the roof. So, we're gonna start out here in the entrance area, or one of the two, since it is symmetrical. And from here, we're gonna place staircase one, two, three, four, like this, and one out this way. One important thing people miss is you always want your staircase to go outside of the boundaries of your box. 
or else it's going to look very one-dimensional and boring. So we're going to do the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go like this, place an upside down, right side up, 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 like that. And in the middle, you say, I can't have a stair going either way, it's too, it's not going to be symmetrical. Well, look what I just did there. If your roof comes up like this, I suggest putting an upside down staircase like this. It helps it so much. And this exposes the fact that we need to put some more wood up here, like so. And that is the first start of our roof. And I'll do it on this other side here too, because this is a symmetrical house. Blah, 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 blah. 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 So now we got two of those, we can work on these bigger sections here. So now I'm going to put another block out this way, make sure the staircase wraps around like that so it doesn't look stupid. And we're going to do the same upside down, right side up thing on this side of the wall. Upside down, right side up, and then in the middle we put one of these. So, now that we're here, let's go to this other side and finish the same thing off. Staircase here so it turns around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it hangs one away. Upside down, right side up. Upside down, right side up upside down, right side up. So we have this sort of wall line of stairs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Upside down, right side up. Upside down, right side up. Upside down, right side up. Okay, there we go. So now you can start to see this taking form. So I'm gonna use my mud brick stairs now to fill in the rest of this. And it doesn't have to be mud brick if you don't want it to be, but make sure it's lighter than your outline block here, or else it's gonna look kind of goofy. And what you're only going to want to do is just wrap it around the sides of the outside stairs like this. It's going to be quite simple. Right along this wall line right here. And perfect. And second layer, basically the same thing, except you have less blocks to place it on. It's a bit more annoying. Remember on these corners, put it on the bottom layer, put it on the bottom layer. Always have your mouse at that bottom layer, or else you're going to place it like this. Should I swear? Whatever. Just keep this going back around like so. This keeps going back up. Oh, and this last little section here. So we have one more layer to do on these two lines over here. And this top layer, actually, we have uh, a bit more. So let's finish these staircases here and see how I don't wrap it around this bottom area. These are just two straight lines across the top. So now that you're done with the stairs, you are going to need slabs of this type of block. I didn't mention it in the beginning, my apologies. Alright, so now you can just fill in all these areas nice and flat. Nothing too complicated. Ah, I missed. As I was saying, nothing too complicated, just placing some blocks. So now that you're done with that, you can really start to see this house taking shape. And wow, the inside is ugly. Alright, so, to start filling this in, we're going to need some stairs. So, we'll put some around this line here, go right across, don't worry too much about uh, all this space in the middle, and do another line across this way right here. And the same up on top, just a nice long line of staircases going down, and slabs right down the middle. So now you have a bit more of a roof here, but there's still these unguarded sections right here. So for a lot of this, you can actually put some blocks or slabs, I guess, in the middle here. And for this door, I am going to put a slab right there to sort of separate what the door block and the door frame are going to be. I'll do this out here too. All right, so now in these sections up at the front, we're going to fill this in with the uh, stone bricks here and on this line right out here. But we'll do it right over here too, just like this. Now here on the walls, we'll put some deep slate too on both sides. And on this middle block, you can put your strip logs facing from side to side like this. And right here on the walls, we can put some strip logs going up. And this block up here we'll replace and make it again a basically stripped log doorway. Here we'll do the same thing, put strip logs on these sides going like so. And I will just put a one right here. And this looks kind of nasty, so to cover it up, we're going to use more spruce on this side here going like this. And I will put some across the top like so, making basically a staircase doorway. And in here again, filling in this top section with spruce. So again, slower, we're going to put two little lines like this out of your wood, one across the top, and staircases here in the corners. My apologies if it's getting dark in here, I can actually put some lanterns here first. 
Yeah, here's a good idea. Put a lantern right here. Put a lantern right here. They're nice. They light up the place. It's dope. So now, back to the build. This whole center area, you can fill the ground with your type of wood. So just all the way down. If you want, you can divide it up into rooms, but I sort of like this one room approach to this house. It's small. It doesn't need multiple rooms. You can just have your bed in a corner. You can have sort of furnaces, a crafting table area, a bookshelf. I got decoration tutorials if you want to check those out. Everything you need to know, you can find on this channel. And if you don't find something you don't know, uh, I just broke my own brain. So before I go off the deep end entirely, let's put some windows in. And you can just stick to some regular stained glass panes, although I like to spruce it up using black and gray as an intermediate to sort of split up the actual style of color that I'm using. Black, gray, here, gray, black, here, black, gray, here, gray, black, and here, gray, black, gray. And it just makes it a bit more varied. If you don't like it, you don't like it. But now we're just about finished with the entire house with the exception of a door, of which I will, I guess I'll just use dark oak. <laughs> you can put it in here like this. I prefer to actually put it on the inside layer to give it just a little bit more depth. We can do one out here too. This could be your backyard area or your front yard area. This house has endless possibilities because it is symmetrical. You can have either side be anything you want. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but that's pretty much all I have for you. All the decoration stuff I've used is totally subjective, and you can check out some of my other videos on how to decorate. But the purpose of these short tutorials is not going to be how to teach you how to do decoration. It's going to teach you how to build nice, simple houses, and hopefully teach you the value in those simple houses too. You are just as valid for wanting to live in this house as you are for wanting to live in this one.